Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward, friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and today on the podcast is Robusta, the new Arabica. Before we get started, if you are looking for consultants to help you with your small business in 2022, check the show notes and get in contact with us and we will start discussions with you about pricing and who the best consultant for you might be. Uh, if you want further information on what we do, head to our testimonials page, mapperforward.org forward slash testimonials. So is Robusta the new Arabica? It's a really interesting question. We have been receiving many questions through our website for people seeking consulting about uh, how do we start buying Robusta because our Arabica, our access to Arabica is either too expensive or the people simply are not getting access to the kinds of coffees that they used to get access to. So they are considering exploring a new market. And I'm quite shocked at how many people are contacting us, asking us this question. How do, can you put me in, in touch with Robusta producers? Can you recommend some Robusta coffees that we should start exploring? Uh, it's really fascinating to see that with everything, as people start to get uh, challenged with their normal way of doing business, people are looking for ways to innovate, which is always fantastic. Uh, and exploring the Robusta market uh, used to be a dirty word. It used to be a, a horrible kind of uh, frowned upon coffee to serve but the technology of Robusta has come a long way the 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 kinds of ways that Robusta has improved over the last couple of decades is pretty outstanding and it's becoming a more attractive market than it used to be so if you don't remember just very quickly uh, Robusta is there are two main families of coffee, Robusta and Arabica. Arabica is the one that's traded on the sea market. It's also the one that's used for specialty grade coffee. Uh, and it's the one that's most widely revered around the world as being like a smooth, easier to drink kind of coffee. Robusta has a more intense flavor and people think of it as harsh and uh, very caffeinated. And it's generally viewed as a lesser quality coffee right now it's being considered as an option for people to start pivoting their businesses so could it become the next arabica well technically no it's not the same as arabica arabica will always be arabica and robusta will always be robusta however what i think is about to happen is that people's bias against Robusta is going to start to dissolve and people will start giving it the chance that they never gave it before. And when people open their mind to things, when people are prepared to look at things uh, objectively and consider things that they previously perhaps didn't want to consider because they were worried what the coffee bros would say about them and how people would judge them. What that means is that people are going to be more willing to give things a go. And probably give less fucks about what other people are going to say, <laughs> which I'm always a fan of. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I hope that what, especially this year listening to this podcast, I hope that you have taken a couple of important points away. One of them being having a customer acquisition plan is a pivotal part of your business. Now, in order to have a really great solid customer acquisition plan, you've got to know who your customers are. And if you are only giving customers one thing, Arabica coffee, which most businesses don't even communicate. So you, your customers probably don't know what you're serving anyway. Now, if you if you know who your customers are and you know that they would be open to trying something new and you are able to give a positive 
spin on Robusta so that you could perhaps present it as a option for your customers. Why not explore it? Why not consider that you could get in contact with a green coffee importer and ask them if they have any Robusta coffees and ask to taste it. Robustas are experiencing record prices right now. There is a producer out of Brazil that just got $4 a pound for Robusta. I mean, that's huge. So it is something that I think if it's um, something that your customers would like, which you would know if you've done your customer acquisition plan, uh, then I definitely think you should give it a go. If you do give it a go, please know it is not Arabica coffee. It is a different experience to Arabica. And so don't judge it. Keep trying to find the right Arabica coffee for your, sorry, the right Robusta coffee for your customers. Because like with Arabica coffee, Robusta coffee, not all Robustas are created equal. Not all Arabica coffee is created equal. So go and find specialty grade Robusta coffee. They're out there and they don't taste terrible at all. They actually taste quite good. I have a high sensitivity to caffeine, so I have to be careful what what Robustas I drink because they are quite high in caffeine, but it may be what your customers want. So go out there and do your due diligence to check whether the coffees that you're tasting, the Robusta coffee that you're tasting, is something that your customers would enjoy and think about including it in your menu and positioning it as a positive thing Uh, and you might just create a new opportunity that helps your business flourish i hope this has been helpful don't forget to subscribe peace love and peanut butter friends have an amazing rest of your day